Hey guys, so the countdown is here. I'm like so excited. Because, um, oh, I'm not too sure if you're going to see this after we already leave or before. I'm not sure. But I, um, I got my outfit. So for the rehearsal dinner, I have like like evening pants, you know, the, the wide leg evening pants. I actually have had them for about maybe 10 years. But I went out and I bought a couple of other things and then I decided I was going to wear my, my really dressy, dressy, wide leg evening pants. They almost look like a, a gown if you stand with your, your feet together. But I did buy a, a, glit, a top, a glittery top, you know, with like a cami underneath it. Then uh, the outer part is all glitters and all that. So I, I bought that and I've been wearing my shoes every day for about... 20 minutes to an hour to try to break my feet into the high heels and um, so I've been doing that really slowly. So I, I got that for the rehearsal dinner and then because you know I mean I don't have a big role to play at all but I'm the stepmother of the groom so I need to I need to be dressing and so for the wedding I have a it's a chiffon black with that well it's a black skirt with like chiffon over it goes to the floor and it's just really pretty it's also an older skirt it's not anything that I have brand new um but so the skirt I've had for a number of years and it just kind of like a, a little bit of an a-line so it sweeps out at my ankles and then I have a top that has a black almost like a little bit of a, a collar and then a solid rhinestone across it, rhinestones across the sleeves. It's like three quarter sleeve goes a little bit below my elbows. It's very elegant. It's not, it's a, it's a very elegant look. And of course the wedding colors are black and gold, so I can wear black to a wedding. I bought a couple of different hair accessories. I bought some pins and stuff like that. Because I I have, um, I'm going to probably put my hair up and I'm going to twist my hair up and then I have those fake buns that you guys have seen me wear over and over again. I'm going to put that in my hair and I'm going to pin this along with the fake bun. And then I bought some jewelry, one of these I'm wearing. I think I'm going to wear this for the rehearsal dinner and I'm not sure. I'm going to still go and look for something else. Initially I bought this for the wedding but I'm not really liking them. I, I think what I really need to do is still, and at the time of this recording, I haven't done it, is get like some sort of a necklace because it does have the rhinestones across the top, but I felt I've got a lot of bare hair and I just felt that I need something here. So maybe a little bit of a rhinestone necklace and, and all of that, I thought that was really cool. So what I did, this is going to come up in my empties, but what I did is, because I'm going to be wearing open toe shoes, and we're, we're actually going into a warmer climate, the wedding's in Atlanta, and then um, we're going to go on a little mini vacation to the coast. We're going to go over to Savannah, Hilton Head, and um, so I wanted to make sure that my feet were sandal ready. So uh, every year I do a food, uh, a food. I need a food exfoliation, trust me. I do a foot exfoliation. And um, this is the second year in a row that I've used this one. And the first time I used it, I was really, really pleased. On this one, I didn't think my feet got as much of a peel as it has previously. But this is, yeah, I'm not going to do it again because, you know, you put this on and then it takes a bit for the peel to start and all that. And I don't have time left. So even though I'm home filming this, by the time you see it, I may may already have been gone. So one thing that, and I can't even remember where I got these, uh, but these are silicone socks. You guys have had silicone socks? But this is also the, I think second, maybe third time I've bought silicone socks. They are reusable. You can wash them. Um, you, when you put them on, you put them on clean feet. You can use an oil. You can use some sort of a food, uh, foot. You can use any kind of a lotion that you really want. And then you slip your feet in here and you just wear these. So what I normally do, even though they're not super slippery, I normally put this on my feet and then I wear socks. So when I've done the foot peel, 
you know, I, I take care of the foot peel issue after it really peels and I think I'm all done peeling. I've actually exfoliated my feet a little bit, you know, in the shower I have one of those like gentle callus kind of scrubbers and all that. I try to remove as much of the skin gently without pulling, tugging or doing it too early as possible. And then when I'm ready, I put my feet in this. And this, and I do this a couple of times because like I said, they are washable, they are reusable, but I'll put a little bit of cream in my feet and in my, in, on my feet and then I stick them in here and then I put my feet in like some, just any sports socks. I'm telling you, my feet, my feet are beautiful. And then I'm in Nepal. I was going to go for a pedicure, but I don't think I'm going to, um, I'm just going to put some polish on my toes. I've got a couple of really pretty Sally Hansen polishes at this point in time that I'm going to use on my toes. Although I am expecting something in the mail. If it comes in in time, I'll use, I'll use that on my hands. But so my fingers, I have been polish free for a while, but, um, yeah, I'm going to be polishing up my fingers and taking care of my feet. So, you know, pampering your feet, right? I mean, you're on them all the time. You get calluses and you take care of your face, you take care of your hands, you take care of your body, but sometimes your feet are so neglected. So to me, every year I do, a, you know, actually twice a year, I do my, I do a really good foot exfoliation. I use this peeling mask or another one and I just love getting my feet baby soft. And, and yeah, so there are two pairs in this. Uh, I'll probably try a different brand next time. And then I walk around with these silicone socks. They are really amazing. If I can find a link for them, I will. But you know what? I bought these quite a while ago, so I'm really not too sure. But any silicone socks, and even before I had silicone socks, what I would do is I took a baggie. And I put cream on my feet and I took a baggie and I wrapped my foot in the baggie and put it in a sock, a regular sock. And I walked around like that. So, so that works just just as nice as these work. But I just wanted to share, you know, foot treatment, right? We talk skin care, we talk hand care, we talk all that stuff. One thing I did get, and I probably am not gonna be able to use this in time, but I'm gonna see if I can. But this is the Science Serum. I do have the eye, I do have, um, I do have two bottles of the Science Serum. You do have to let it dry and then you have to wash it off. You know, I've got the eye and the neck and all that, you have to wash it off and it does make a difference. It's, it, to me, it's perfect, like if you're getting ready to go out somewhere and you wanted that special thing. So anyways, this Pro Series Tight All-in-One Face Treatment, I thought this was really awesome. Tightening, lifting, anti-aging, uh, even skin tone, brightening. I have not yet used it. It comes in different containers, treatment one, treatment two, treatment three, tre treatment four. It has a brush and it's like a silicone type of a brush that you apply it with. And then it has a moisturizer. This I do not believe is a wash off. I just received this complimentary from Science Serum to in exchange for review. So. I thought, wow, how perfect. So I'm going to use it before I go, see how I like it. If I like it, it's coming in the suitcase with me because I want to look really good for the wedding. Look really good for the wedding. So um, the other thing, oh, I wanted to share with you. It's like the hottest thing in the world, right, is deciding when you go away. You don't want to have too much makeup. You don't want to have too little. You don't want to be caught with something, you know, at home that you need, right? So I was like trying to think of, you know, my eyeshadows. What, what is it that I want to bring? I don't want to bring 50 palettes. Uh, I hate when your battery dies because I don't know if I'm in the same position as I was before. But anyway, so I bought this. I don't know how long ago it was, uh, but I bought it in Kohl's and it is just a, it's, it's the Lorac Pro Matte, and it's just these basic colors, and they're just, they're mattes. There's no glitter, there's no shimmers, there's no nothing. So I thought th these, this would be perfect for my, you know, all, all over, and then I could go darker, and it's cool, and does have some couple of warm colors, but mainly to me it's more of a cool, and I can, I can do a lot with this palette. So I thought that for sure was coming. And then I was debating. I was debating on a few other palettes, but 
I really like the Viseat and I love the Viseat Amethyst but I need to either get myself another Amethyst palette because some of the colors I've just gone right through but I'm not going to do that because I have this Lizzie, this one here and um, I think I'm going to bring this with me and these are the colors. So you can see this has some purples, it has some shimmers, and again it has some of the darker colors that I can work. So for an all around color palette or an all around palette for me, I need a matte bone. I need something that I can do, you know, that's skin tone that I can go all over my lids. This does not have this. A lot of palettes don't have this. I have like some pretty palettes, but they just simply don't have that, that all around color. This I can, I can do because I can use the very first one, linen, for that color if I want. But then, I also have been really enjoying this and I, I really hesitated to try this because I was thinking, holy cow, you know, Dior, this is expensive. This is actually given to me. I want to say Sheila gave me this. I want to say, gosh, she must have sent, I think when I had one time early on, I think I want to give away <laughs> and she sent me this but um, this is just a tiny tiny this is the most stinking cute little palette if you can see those colors oh my gosh they're so so pretty so in the center in this tiny little thing is the perfect color for me to go all over in the corner is a perfect deep for my outer V the pink is the best pink ever. Now, I, I was watching uh, Marlene Fab and Glam's video, and she had a little palette. It was an Essence palette, Love palette, and it had pinks in it. I'm going to go check those out before we go. But I have a hard time with pink. There, it's either more of an orangey pink. I'm, I, I, it's just have a really hard time with pinks. But this one in this little tiny door palette is the perfect pink. I absolutely love that little pink. It's just this tiny little thing though, you know? And, um, but all of the colors in here, I can create a look with without needing anything else. So in fact, this is all I have on my eyes right now. This whole palette, nothing else. So I could get away with this, I think but I won't. I'll bring this one. And then I am debating because I know I'm not going to bring the Natasha Denona, the Glam Palette. Everyone loves the Glam Palette. I love the Glam Palette. I think it's beautiful, but this does not have the right pink for me at all. It does not have the right pink for me. Now, the ColourPop, this is Stone Cold Fox, the ColourPop, this palette. I really love this palette. Now it has some pink shimmers and it has some pink tones, but it it does not have, I, I know it's not picking it up. It does not have that perfect pink that the Dior palette has. It just has this, it's a matte. It just has this perfect little pink and all of these mattes some of them come close, but none of them is close enough. So this palette, I could do everything with it, except I would miss that pink. I like the pink look. So Natasha Denona is not coming with me for sure. The Viseat Liaison may come with me. I'm not sure. The Lorac Pro, definitely. The little tiny door, Dior is so pretty, is definitely coming, and I'm going to take the Stone Cold. I think these are the palettes that I will have the most use for while I'm going to a wedding. And then I'm going on vacation afterwards, so we're going to go to the coast. We're going to go over to Hilton Head. And, uh, and so I really just don't want to have a whole lot of makeup with me, you know. I want to be really relaxed. So... It's bad enough that we have to have dress clothes and then vacation clothes. And I got these earrings. I think these are so cute. I already showed you these. But I think these are so cute. So anyways, um, at one point you'll probably see pictures 
of you know the outfit and a little bit of the I'll probably vlog the trip a little bit when I come back so again I don't know you, you know I've got a couple of wig review videos that are going to come up I know not all of you are fans of wig review I actually have one that I want to film and I haven't filmed yet I got a couple of choppers in and I cut them <laughs> yeah so anyways this wig on my head this is Raquel Welch this is unfiltered and this is in shaded hazelnut. A little bit, certainly a darker color for me, but I really wanted to try this wig because I thought it would be a great opportunity to try a darker color. And uh, Marlene Fab and Glam, many of you know Marlene, she sent me a couple of different wigs, I've got a couple of reviews coming out or looksies on some of these different colors. And she sent me four to take a look at and to play with, and this is one of them. I have been really wanting to try a color like this. I've been wanting to try a couple of darker colors. And um, the two really dark ones, every time I put them on, Jay goes like, no, no, no. But, yeah, I mean, you know, get to explore and play. So um, that's it for now. I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an update how I'm prepping my feet for my sandals. My shoes are really pretty. They're about 10 years old. And when I was in Macy's, interestingly enough, I saw them. They still sell them. They're, they're a timeless style. And I saw them in a, um, a silver. I have the black. And I said, oh, I bet you the silver would look really good with my outfit. The rhinestones, the long skirt. I wondered if it would look better than my black ones. So, yeah, I've got a bunch of things to return to Macy's, and I might take another look at those shoes, and I might pick them up. I don't know. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I know this is kind of rambling all about nothing, but um, I just wanted to share all that with you. Not that it was a whole lot. But anyways, hope you have a great week. Bye, guys. <laughs>